Hi, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a car instance using Dagger library with using Kotlin language. So, every time if you want to create a car instance, you need to use Dagger car component and call a get car method. So, there is one more type of dependency injection. In the previous tutorial, we have seen the constructor injection because we have marked car constructor and wheels constructor and engine constructor as inject. So whenever we mark it as inject, then Dagger knows how, how to create those objects. And there is one field injection. In this tutorial, we will see how to inject field injection. Instead of creating car using Dagger, dagger car component, let's mark this variable as inject. And we are telling Dagger to create a car instance automatically. Let's see whether it will create a car instance or not. So if it is not creating an instance, then we should get a null pointer exception here. Let's go and execute this project. As we have expected, we got property car has not been initialized. So it is a runtime exception, still car instance is not created, even though we marked parameter as inject. Because the main activity instance is created by Android, not by Dagger. So we need to tell, we need to tell to Dagger to create all variables, which is marked as inject in this activity to instantiate those objects and let's go to car component where we have created a get car method and for injecting variables we have a inject function which will take main activity as argument and now let's rebuild this project so that dagger will create a dagger car component class and it will implement for this method the real build is running it is taking time Okay, the build is successful and let's inject main activity in car component. Here, we'll just create a car component and we will use we will use inject method to use this and we are passing this this line tells to dagger whatever the parameters which are marked as inject let's instantiate those and in this case we are not using get car method we are simply calling the start method thinking that the car is instantiated by dagger and let's execute now and see whether we will get a null pointer exception or we will get a driving as output So we got build successful and let's see the output. So as the car is instantiated by dagger and we got the output driving. So this is useful when we have so many parameters with inject. Suppose we can have a different car instance. Let's mark this as car1 
and this also will be instantiated by dagger and we can simply call start because this line tells instantiate all variables let's execute this and we should get a two output driving and driving So build is successful and we will see the output we need to get two times driving so as you can see we have got driving and driving so two objects got instantiated by dagger so i hope you like this video and you understood how to create car instances using dagger at first we have used get car method and now we have generalized the problem and kept inject annotation as a parameter and we can use that parameter directly as it is instantiated by dagger and please follow up for more tutorials for dagger library in kotlin and thank you for watching